Well, how do you feel coming into LA as a new Clipper against your former team? What was that like, and how did it feel? Uh, I mean, it's always good to be out there playing a the game of basketball for me, but I mean, I don't really, I don't really worry about previous teams or any of that. I just go out there and play the game I'm supposed to play. I know you mentioned you don't really worry about previous teams or anything like that, but did you get to have any conversation with your older teammates, like Luca or anything, or was it just straight business today? No, of course, I'm, I'm not going to sit up there and just ignore them. I mean, as my guys for sure. I mean, even to this day, I still have conversations with them, but when I'm on that floor, I'm trying to win the game, man. That's all I'm going for. Hey, Derek. Hey, Derek. So, um, first game in the new arena, how would you, how would you comment about the, all the high tech, the arena around here? No, I love it. I mean, the arena's nice. It, it, sorry, I heard about the curse. No, but the arena is, is, is really amazing. I, I definitely like it. It's probably one of the best arenas that I've ever stepped foot in and practice facility as well. So, um, I'm glad I'm here being able to, to, to be here playing it into a dome and be the, want to be the first team that's, you know, getting that floor ready. You look like you were having a lot of fun out there. What was the personal highlight of the night for you? The win. That's all I care about, wins and losses. I, I just want to win every game that we can. Just get better as we as, as the days go on. Derek, Ty just told us that you're going to be the uh, starting four to begin the season. What do you think you could bring the group that you guys had out there tonight? Uh, a lot of energy. Defensively, offensively, whenever I'm whenever I'm on the floor, just <clears throat> definitely being aggressive offensively, making my mark on the game, and defensively just being who I am. And like I said before, I want to guard the best, and I want to be on that first team, second team, all defense. That's, that's just what I want. What's your chemistry been like with the guards? Obviously, playing off of James, of course, but even Norm and Terrence, guys like that, getting downhill, finding you. Uh, I mean, it's working well for me right now. Uh, I'm definitely. Definitely a learning curve, but you know, as as basketball goes on and and we we in the gym together more and more, we just going to get that relationship better. Derek, how hard is it to get a feel for what team you guys are going to be without Kawhi being involved in any games? Uh, I mean, we, we know who Kawhi is. We know what he brings to the table, and as us as us role players, we just got to go out there and, and, and play our game and and be aggressive as much as we can, so we can take some of that pressure off of him. Guys not, not helping off of us as much, as much and, and they do help off of us. He's obviously going to make the right pass, and he will knock the shots down. DJ, uh, look like the first half, you tweak something, like colliding with somebody, and you always seem to be really good at shaking that off or completing the game, but like, how do you, how do you even how do you even do that? Like, just take contact like that, and then just be like, all right, I'm good. I don't know. I mean, I, I get fouled a lot harder than that when I have the screens I run through, so I feel like I'm good. Hi. Um, so yesterday you participated in the Feed the Community event, giving food to over a thousand families. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what that meant to you? Uh, it was definitely fun out there, just, just being out there, giving back to the community, and just being able to put smiles on people's faces. Cause I mean, they don't every day be able to just go out there and see NBA players or celebrities, period. So I was like, for me, I'm just, I was happy, I was happy I was able to be out there and just put a smile on people's faces. That's one. Derek, um, Ty was in here earlier talking about the defense, and you mentioned Jeff Van Gundy and kind of like how pleased he is with the schemes that you guys are running on defense through preseason. What have you seen out of Jeff kind of that he's given you guys as far as pointers or just energy or anything like that? Uh, I mean, he's on our tail every day about everything defensively. Uh, and he wants us to be a top five defensive team, and I believe that we can. We just got to just gotta follow the game plan and, and just do what he's supposed to do on the defensive end. I mean, just keep our man in front of us, always be there on the outside, and clean, off the, clean up the rim. Is there anything he's done for you specifically? Because James said that he gave him notes, like he would leave notes in his locker. Is there anything specifically for you that he's done as far as Tips, notes, anything like that? Uh, I mean, I just talk to him every day about it. I mean, if there's something that I, I feel a little uncomfortable with, I mean, we'll go talk to him and you know, we figure it out. And I mean, at the end of the day, you know, he knows that I can play defense well. And obviously, I got to follow this game. But I mean, man, I'm at a conversation. If I if I fall, well, if not, if I go 
ball a little off trail. I just got to work. As long as it works, we good. Thanks, TJ. Uh.